Hello everybody and welcome back to Pumpkin Days. Where I oh, oh what was I doing again? Oh man. So I've just been to the mines and I just came back from the mines and I had some did I have some money? I had some money. So that probably means that I was off to get my smelter, but I just didn't have time. That's a Scottish word, didn't he? Um I didn't have time to go and grab them before the end of the last episode. So we shall do that first thing this episode. Hello, Duante. So, uh, I would like to buy some stuff off you and I would like that to be a smelter and I would like that to be an anvil. Thank you kindly. I don't have enough for a bee box. Maybe we'll do bee boxes next time. They'd be quite good. I have a lot of flowers growing, so I'm figuring bee boxes are probably quite a good thing for me to have. That's one of the good things about things unlocking when you use them. So I grow a lot of flowers. It knows I need a bee box. I still haven't worked out how to do barley, so it doesn't give me oil yet. Um, I might work that out next year. <laughs> Mind you, like, I don't even know whether I'm going to beat Jounce Corp here, you know? I don't know, I don't know what I actually have to do to keep them away. I mean, I'm guessing that the mail will keep- Oh, mail, of course. We have mail to get. Ah. It's raining though, so I don't need, do not need to worry about my crops today, which is great. Except for any that I want to plant in or harvest out or new ones I want to add or anything along those lines. I wonder if there will be no more, more of the coconuts on the way back. I called a coconut a pineapple last episode. I was so worried because remember I passed out? I was very worried. Greetings, true believer. Have you gone cave diving yet? I think you know I have, and I think that's why you're sending me this letter. If you dig deep enough in the caves, or go deep enough, that needs a little be right. Enough in the caves, you'll start to find uncut gems. They're completely worthless, unless you polish them. If you would like, to, sorry, if you'd like me to start carrying a gem polishing station in the store, ship 30 gems and I'll keep them in stock. Ooh. So I've got to, got to get that 30 gems first and then they will stock a gem polisher. Thankfully, all these things where they send me letters about this, it's all in the library anyway. So it's fine. So I want to just like offload all of this, plant in all my new trees. Plant my watermelons, ship my eggs. Then I could head back to the mines if I wanted. But probably by the time I get around to it, it'll be tomorrow. Let's face it. I never just get things done in like one day in this game. No, no, no. Right, here, so couple of coconuts on the way. Not too many. I clearly cleared them all out or something. Oh no, there's two more. Great. Need all the stamina I can get here. Oh, and some more. And some more. Oh, I got a good harvest today. I can see some stuff is ready in my farm. Look. Oh, look at all those flowers. Oh, yes, we're going to have a good harvest. All the flowers, all the potatoes. These uh, pineapples are coming along nicely. Um, we have proven that blueberries do not grow. No blueberries for me. Ooh. Bye bye, blueberry. Everything else is doing pretty good though. Let's unequip this wooden shovel. I'll need to uh, sell that and buy a new one. I've actually used up all of my wooden shovel now. Wow. Incredible. Need to do a, a little harvest here. I need to act the robot. <laughs> to come and harvest for me. Harvest and plant. I need a robot. Maybe that'll be a robot. You don't you don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's in this game. 
It could be robots. Right, so I'm gonna actually, just all my salt I'm gonna keep because I'm gonna make that into stuff like lentil soup. Uh, or whatever other soup, all the different kinds of soup that I can make, I will make with salt. Okay, so we also have mushrooms, which might, might even be able to make mushroom soup, you never know. Um, I want my potatoes. Uh, I want them in my inventory, actually, because I want to ship them, actually. Uh, I want replacement poncettias. I don't need wood right now. I don't need any of my ore that I found right now, anyway. I'll keep my seeds, I'll keep my coconut things. Okay, that's good. Right, so now I want to put down my smelters. So I'm going to put them here. Smelter and an anvil. There we are. It's my little workshop area. It's not the neatest, but I like it. It's cool. Oh. That's a big tree nowadays. This one's growing too. Oh, no, please don't. No, no sneezes. Come on. Every time I start playing this game, I sneeze. Is it all the flowers I planted? It must be. Right, so we have a load of camellia grown now. Fantastic. And do you know what that means? Do you know what that means, guys? That means... that I'm going to have a lot... of uh, camellia mint tea. Or camellia and orange, or camellia and camellia, or whatever I want to do. But camellias equals tea. Equals stamina. Now that's something when you're starting the game as well. A little bit of meta knowledge on the recipes is always kind of handy on a, on a restart, I guess. That kangaroo paw will sell for an absolute fortune. Unfortunately, I do now have to hoe the whole thing out again. And my hoe's nearly broken again. I need a gold one. With all this money, I should be able to afford one. And a golden pickaxe. Look at my pickaxe! That has to be sold before I go anywhere near a mine again. So how many kangaroo paws did I get? 30, 60, 80 of them. 80 of them, and they sell for like, how much? 10 each. I thought they sold for more than that, hang on. They sell for 5 each. Hmm, has some rebalancing happened? Maybe. They're balancing stuff all the time, they look at prices on things. So like I say, especially if, if, if videos are going out like, I could make loads of money with gems. They're like, gems are suddenly worth half as much. How much a poncetti is worth right now? Let's have a look. So I should have had 80 of each flower pretty much by the looks of it. Let's have a look at you. So you're eight. Actually, no, maybe, maybe 10 each is a really good price then. So it's 800 just for the kangaroo paw. Just one little patch of kangaroo paw. That is kind of good. I'll get the rest of the camellias and then I'm going to need to go to the selling box because I just have like no space. I've got all of the... I can't even fit all of the camellias in. I've got all of the poncettias to sell because I have all the seeds to replant them already. The kangaroo paw I need to sell 60 of. The camellia I need to actually keep. The potatoes I can sell. The eggs need to go. I'll get a bonus for them, which is why I bought them. Um, and that's about it, I think. Yeah. I might go get my mint and try and make some tea. Let's pick 
those camellias up. I have a lot of planting to do. Goodness me, I'm glad it's a rainy day today, honestly. It would be terrible otherwise. How much did Gentian sell for? They're six. That's not too bad. But I do. I'm enjoying how easy it is to to make to feel like you're making progress. To feel like you're making more money. To feel like your farm is looking different. To feel like you're getting onto bigger plots fast. Definitely is really good in the way it scales. I feel. I feel like you always feel like you're making tons of progress. You're always getting a new tool or, or you're able to make bigger plots or your trees have ripened up or something's like always happening. I'm going to ask that entire flower pot, flower plot, I suppose it is, done. Um, what I could do is just finish off this bed and plant the flowers into this. This was meant for my herbs. Where are all my herbs? Did I put them all away in the box? I did. Oh, phew! <laughs> I was like, oh no, where's all my herbs gone? I can only plant so fast though. Good grief. Right, so what I kind of need to do is make some more seeds of everything. I've got some parsley seeds here. And I want to make some gentian seeds. See, my issue is I can't just... Um... There we go. Okay, so all the rest of the gentian can be sold. The camellias I want to have kept. I'll put them in my big box of goodies. Um, and then we'll go maybe and plant a tree or two. What did I do? I... Really? Unequip that, please. Huh? Yeah, avocado tree planted. My trees are kind of slightly on top of each other there. They do seem to be in bloom now. That's fantastic. So I guess that then eventually they will start to bear fruit. And then I will be super happy. Yay. And we want a hazelnut tree as well. That's what I need to be doing. That is what I need to be doing to be changing my size. I need to be doing it at the spot. At the exact spot where I'm uh, doing things. Cool. Now, the sugar cane isn't done yet. I've got 16 poncettias, which I can plant back in. You know I'm not getting to these mines today. You know it. I know it. The world knows it. We still have watermelon to plant and cocoa. Now, the cocoa is a tree. The watermelons, I would need to... I want to put them actually over here, I think. This is all my random stuff. There we are, that's for watermelons. I'm only planting eight of them at the moment because they were quite expensive. I had to buy the fruit, I couldn't just get the seed. They were a little bit pricey. And I can sell off the gentian. I think I'm going to have quite a big payday today. Oh! 
I was about, I moved the coconut water as well. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Well, it's raining. It's fine. I will be more careful. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry, doctor. Let me go. Let me go. Go. I'm really frustrated when I do that. I get, because I'm, I'm not frustrated with the game or anything. I'm just super frustrated with my own lack of looking at my stamina bars. Like how many times do I have to do this before I remember to look at it? Ah. Okay, I did manage to get a lot of stuff into my uh, cell box. So what I'm hoping to do is to go and repair or replenish or replace or whatever you want to call it, my tools. Because at the moment I don't have... Or I could just buy a crafting bench and try to craft things on it. I mean, they did show me how to do that and I do have, like, I do have gold. Right, so 1,400 for the last shipment. 100 for my chicken eggs. Um, greetings, true believer. I'm sure you've seen the windmills on Masika's farm. Yes, I have. They look awesome. If you want a few of those for grinding up grains and certain crops into usable products, just ship 100 items that a windmill can process and I'll start carrying them in the store. You can ship rice, sugar cane, barley, cocoa, wheat or coffee. Oh, yes, let's grow loads of sugar cane then. I don't have coffee. I don't know where to get that yet. I need to keep looking in the shop for that, actually. Because it will show up eventually. It's rotating stock. And I need to ship coffee. It's one of the few things I don't have at the moment. I'm just going to try and get chests full of, like, things to make seeds out of. Or just even just keep the seeds by for, like, the next spring and things like that. Okay. So we've got pineapple, cotton, potato, and, ooh, what's that over there? Is that coffee? Cocoa. No, I don't need cocoa. I need coffee. Um, so we've got tomatoes, onions, watermelons. More cocoa. Corn. No, I didn't want to buy that. No. Mind you, I haven't grown any corn yet. Maybe I could grow it up into something. Tomato. Pineapple. Sugar cane. But no coffee today. Right, let's see what Masika's got in her shop as well. Potato, pineapple, cocoa, cotton, tomato. Onion, watermelon, corn, tomato. Watermelon, sugar cane, cocoa, pineapple. The same stuff that's all around the shop, actually. It's exactly the same. Well, so all I did there was accidentally buy some corn that I didn't need. Let's make it into a corn seed. And we'll see what its info is. Yeah, it's like, it only grows in Pumpkin Vale. That's useless to me. Until I can get a plot up there. And enough money to be able to use it. Get to it. Just keep that out of my inventory. <sighs> so much for going to the mines. So much for going to the mines. Well, I've got loads of money now, though. 1,800. So I might actually be able to, if if Clara is selling, and that's a big if, but if she is, I might be able to get some nice golden tools. The watering can's only halfway through, so that should last me a little while longer. At least a few days until I can get some more money together to replace it. But also, I wanted to go to Duente and get a craft... Oh yeah, no, sorry. The crafting bench was so I could make the tools. So why don't we see if we can? I would love to make my first tool today, it'd be great. I need a crafting bench, please. So I've got the smelter, I've got the anvil, I've got the sawmill, got the kitchen, got the TV. I don't have a bee box yet. 
Maybe we could get one of those too. Yeah, crafting bench. Um, why not? Let's get a bee box. I don't know how many of those I'm going to need. Maybe I can have loads. I need to see what their um, exact specifications are. Whether I just stick it somewhere in my place and they just make honey for me as long as they're close enough to flowers or something. Let's see if it says. Info. Produce it faster if it's near. Oh, so it produces it even without flowers. Nice. Might have a load of those then. I assume that after a while they'll just pay themselves back. That'd be really cool though, wouldn't it? Like to have like a specialist bee plantation with like loads of flowers and things planted. I'd love to do that. I have an entire plot full of herbs, like an entire... I don't know when I would have time to harvest all these things though. I'd literally just be planting and harvesting all day. It'd be insane. Okay, I've got there's quite a lot of stuff here now. So the peppercorns. Oh. Frozen um, five days. I think I needed more peppercorns than that. I'm going to turn them all back into seeds. I've got enough time to, to do it. That should give me about 20 then if I put them back through. Okay. There's a lot of stuff that's ripe now. Oh, I can't keep up with it all. I know this is daft, but does can I harvest things with a sickle at all? Is there any way that I can harvest faster? Even if I can't plant faster. Okay, let's have, have a look at the info on the sickle. Don't know. Right, so what I'm going to try and do, something that's not too... Hmm. Seems to only work on grass. Okay. That's not going to help me. I haven't even looked at my TV. Do you know what? I'm going to do that now. I haven't even looked at the telly. Grapefruit candies. And medium kitchen. Wonderful. I should put down my uh, crafting bench that I just bought as well. And my bee house that I just bought as well. Here, here by my house might be a nice place to put bee houses. And I can maybe plant another bed full of flowers near to them as well. Um. Oh, that's my crafting bench. That is not a bee house. So daft sometimes. This is a bee house. I can move things, I believe, though. I just have to click on it and pick it up. It's really not that hard. Thankfully, or I would be in a lot of trouble there. So I'm thinking around here somewhere will be a really nice place to put my crafting bench. I don't know if that's the right way around, but there it is. So I can craft uh, coffee tables, plushies, Cupboard, shelves, chairs, and some kitchens. It's quite a lot of different uh, coffee tables and things. 
and quite a few different storages. Beds and couches don't seem to be in yet, but they're probably working on quite a lot of stuff right now, to be fair. So on the anvil, I can craft. Ah, here's where I craft all the tools, actually. So I didn't really need the crafting bench, but oh well. It's good to have everything, right? Make my own storage. Sickle, uh, copper, diamond. Axes, brown wood planks and three iron bars. Seems to me that it's always one brown wood plank and one of whatever bar or whatever it is. For an axe, it's three, three of whatever bar. So colour, it's one. Fishing rod, it's two. And a pickaxe, it's three. Hmm. So what's the difference? Well, maybe you don't get golden axes or something. I would have to experiment. Right, let's firstly then get in here and process some gold ore. Which is actually, I put away in my box. I forgot about that. We don't have much gold ore. Maybe I'll need to do iron then. Process some iron then, shall we? If I make an iron pickaxe. Right, so it's four for one. So I don't actually have enough gold to make all of that. So if I can get three together. And then do I need wooden planks or do I just need wood? Let's just check. I forgot about that. So brown wood planks. And specifically the brown wood as well. Which is a little harder to get. I do have one piece. Would that be enough to make a log? Oh, we've got loads actually over here. That's fine. So I can experiment a little bit then. So there, I've got my three iron bars. Oh, no, so I've got six iron bars actually. So if I go into my anvil and I craft, and I want to make a pickaxe. If I had three golden bars, I could make a pickaxe. My axe is nearly dead anyway, so whether I make a pickaxe or an axe, it doesn't really matter. One would probably make a sickle. What do you mean I don't have any brown wood planks? I had loads of them. Did I put them in my box? I bet I did. Yup. Need them in here. Okay. But I need an iron pickaxe. Let's experiment. So... I would like to experiment with one brown wood plank and three iron bars and we'll see what happens. Crafted iron pickaxe, very nice. And I can sell my old one. And I'll make another iron hoe if I can. Ooh, I don't know how to make a hoe. So one brown wood plank and two titanium bar. Oh, I don't know about this then. Mmm. 
I could try an experiment and get it, or I could sleep and see if I get anything that tells me how to make it in the morning. I mean, if I had two bars, that would probably make a fishing rod. Never mind then. The pickaxe is the main one, but I really do want another hoe. So let's just uh, go to sleep for a bit. So I haven't even used. I haven't used all my stamina. What am I doing? Let's just get the rest of this harvesting done. And then in the morning, I can see if I get any kind of recipe that tells me how to make a hoe at all. A lot to, to ask, but then eventually I'll get through everything and it'll have to start giving me tool recipes. So, what are you then? Black beans, aha! Magical. They grew really fast actually. Funny how things grow really fast when you keep blacking out. So that will hopefully be enough for my quota. And there's some vanilla as well. Ooh, oh no. It's terrible. Really need extra room in this inventory of mine. They stacked to 50? Wow. Don't judge me, I don't have one of those grinders or windmills or whatever they're called yet. Keeping so much stuff for seeds is not really very funny, really. And I, I was planting Ponsettia when I passed out. Why does this always happen when I'm planting Ponsettia? It seems to be a bit of a thing right now. So we've got a whole load of curry. Journal, work on farming quota. So sugar cane will get done. That's another 400. The pineapple we're still waiting on. Blueberries, I can't do in this region. Black beans, I believe are done now. So that'll be another like 100. Watermelon, what did I do with it? Oh yeah, the watermelon is growing. These are the watermelon. So I'm doing as much as I can with the farm I've got, pretty much. Because the issue isn't really buying a plot in Pumpkin Vale. The issue is the time and effort it's going to take to be like constantly going between the two. I'd have to basically travel and spend a day at one, travel and spend a day at the other. Early game, you want to walk between them as well because you're like too tight to... <laughs> Alright, that's enough of curry plants. Yeah, so early game, you're too tight to, <laughs> to do the fast travel because it's like really expensive. one stack of that. The vanilla will be turned into seeds. I believe vanilla grows in the fall. Yes. Vanilla is worth a little bit actually as well which is kind of cool. You know what I could do? What I should do is put my iron pickaxe in there. And my wooden shovel. And my axe. And sell them, and then make new ones. And I get money for them, which is kind of handy. Okay, back to it. So we've got loads of rosemary as well. again I am kind of thinking to myself I should keep a select a small selection 
of um of things for cooking like a kitchen garden i'll have all my herbs in and it'll just have a few of each and then find something that's really pricey to plant a lot of because otherwise i'm kind of wasting my effort So I might go to the flower shop tomorrow and have a look at what would help with that. Now, I need to sort of put these fields back in order. And try not to break my hoe. Keep a real good eye on that. Like I do on my stamina. I keep such a good eye on that stamina. I never pass out. Ever. So good at it. Okay, so we've got two full plots there. Nice. I would like to go to my seed doofer as well and make some more seeds. Uh, process. I'm going to pick up my gentian seeds and they'll get planted. Concertia seeds as well. Again, they're going to be all out of line with each other, which is so annoying. I would like to do some kangaroo paw. I don't want 20 of them. Oh, this is so irritating. Okay. I need that. I need 17. I need 16. Stick that away, I guess. I've got no room. <laughs> no room. How did I just do that? I right click dragged. And if I right click drag though, that's that halves it. Oh, the shift drag that didn't really work very well. Um Now they're just swapping over. Shift. That's so odd. And they're not stacking either. Ugh, I don't like that at all. I think every game, right, should have clear instructions at the bottom of their storage. I'm going to, this is another thing I will try and remember to put up and probably will forget, but clear instructions on the storage, how to swap items over, how to split a stack into half and how to remove one item from a stack. Because you know what? Every game has different ways of doing that. And I'm supposed to remember all of them across every single game I play. No! <laughs> So that's a little pet peeve of mine. I like, I really love games where just down here they'll have a little instruction on how to do basic functions within the inventory. Really, really helps when you have a lot of different games you play. I understand if someone's just playing this for hundreds of hours, they'll get it eventually or they'll look it up somewhere else. But that's a real nice quality of life thing. Okay, so I have my parsley seeds. I can plant those in the morning as well. I've got loads of rosemary that, can, that need to just get chucked in. Um, did I even get my 16? I'm just trying to get, literally at the moment, 16 kangaroo port. I can't even split it within the inventory here. So what I need to do is to try and do it within my inventory, I guess. That would be 14... 16! Yay! Worth it for kangaroo paw though, because that sells for good money. Again, I, I still haven't looked around the shop to see if there's things that, that sell for more than 10. So more than 50. So my maximum at the moment is 50 per square of field. 
much does copper sell for, I wonder? Two. How much does gold sell for? Fifteen. That's not bad. How much does salt sell for? Two. Do I have any lentils? Yes. Shall I make lentil soup? Yes. One soybean, one salt. So we can do the same with lentils as an experiment because it said in that book in the library. So, lentils, salt. Lentil soup. How much does lentil soup go for? 50, 50 gold? Um, you know that whole thing about not planting lentils? I think I've changed my mind. I'm going to plant another 16 of those. That's another reason why it was OP to have the uh, lentils constantly producing if the soup goes for that much. I can see why you guys were like desperate for me to make lentil soup, but I am glad that I kind of discovered it my own way. So I did discover the recipe in the library within the game. And that is the way I prefer to do it. Um, can't actually take those away. <laughs> ah, so much stuff. Do you know what? I want to make another three lentil soups. And then I def des I desperately need to sleep as well. Oh, it's so bad. I need to sleep so bad. I want three of them, please. Oh, you know what? I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Rawr. I'm not even going to watch the TV before I do it either. Oh, my timings are so out now. Like, it's literally the middle of the afternoon. Mango mahi mahi. Oh, we're getting some better recipes now. Diamond shovel. Okay. That's fine. Shovel is good. So we know how to make an a pickaxe. We know how to make a shovel. We don't know how to make a hoe still. Or a watering can. Hmm. I'm worried that I'll just lose my stuff though. So the ponsetti is nearly done. Ugh. That is just a nightmare. So we've got ones that are nearly done and ones that have not even been planted. So I'll just plant these in and then I'll just wait for the whole harvest to go through. And I will also plant the gentians in. But I just want to go back to the mine. It's all I want. I don't even think it'll be this episode. This episode's been more about whinging. <laughs> I'm sorry I've been whingy this episode. I think I'm just trying to do possibly do too much when I don't actually need to. How are my fruit trees doing? Still look like they're in bloom rather than in fruit. Um, like they should really be, it's the 12th of summer. They should be fruiting by now, <laughs> I think. It said it takes 28 days to grow and then it will fruit all through the spring and summer. And I ain't seen no fruit. I'll try the fruit picker on them in a second. So that's all of those planted, lovely. It's the middle of summer, it's the 12th of summer, so we still have a lot of time. To 
to get things done. But I, I know that when it comes to the autumn or winter, I'm going to be like, oh no, I wish I had planted more stuff in the spring and summer. <laughs> Or maybe I should restrict myself to less of these fields. No, I don't really want to eat my lentil soup. I'll eat that coconut water. If eat is the right word for it, I'm not really sure it is. But I think I'm just going to finish up this little bit of planting and then finish the episode up for the day then. Um, so we've planted... 32, 48 things there. So that's a good planting session, I feel. Pineapples are going well. My uh, potarots are doing pretty well so far. Watermelons are doing okay. So I'm just going to leave you guys there. Oh, Tristfallen has not been fed. Tristfallen, are you a big chicken? Have you turned into a big chicken? <gasps> Look, Tristfall is a big chicken now. And I can hold him in my arms to pet him. <gasps> That's so exciting. I, I still haven't bought you a brush. I am truly sorry for this. But anyway, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. And if you'd like to see more, then please subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please do look after yourselves and keep being awesome.